Hi, this is Brad Uline with Home Hatch Realty. If you're thinking about selling, today we're going to talk about a way that you may gain an extra $5,000 in one simple step. So when selling, what's a surefire way to raise the value of your house? One way may be remodeling. So you might add some laminate flooring or some granite to your kitchen. That's definitely a way to raise the value, but it takes time, effort, and money. So what's an even easier way? What about square footage? We all know that square footage matters, but how much does it matter? In this neighborhood in Pinellas County, you can see that the average sale price is $180 and above per square foot. So that means if we could find an extra 30 square feet, that would raise the value of your home $5,400. Well, you say adding on a home is very expensive, but what if you could add square footage without any addition, without any mess? Well, when you go to Zillow or Realtor.com, how do they come up with that square footage? Well, it filters down from the multiple listing system, which is the Realtor network. How does it get in the multiple listing? Well, that's up to the Realtor. Now, the Realtor has four choices on how to come up with the square footage. They can either use an appraisal, they can use a builder's floor plan, or they can use the county property appraiser website. That's what 99% of realtors use. But the fourth way, the best way, is to actually measure your home. The problem with the county property appraiser is that they round down. So they'll take a 20 foot 8 inch wall and they'll round it down to 20 feet. Now that may not sound like much, but if you take the whole house, it really adds up and makes a difference. The second thing is they don't go inside the garage or the house. So they miss a lot of nooks and crannies, which again makes a big difference. So why don't more realtors measure? Well, one reason is anything that matters and adds value to a home has possible liability legally. So you want to make sure it's done right. So how do we measure? You might think you go inside and just add up the living room, kitchen, master bedroom, just total all the rooms together. But surprisingly, then you'll only come up with about 75% of the actual square footage. All we need is the exterior walls. And what's the best way to get that? Is to get a plan. So how do we get a plaque? The best thing to do is go to the county property appraiser website and print it out. If you don't have a printer, then just draw it out. So now let's go ahead and actually measure the walls. Just surprisingly, when I measure a home, on average, I'll come up with one and a half to two and a half percent more square footage than the county property appraiser. That may not sound like a lot, but with a 2,000 foot home, that's between 30 and 50 extra square feet. And at $180, per square foot, that's between $5,000 and $9,000 extra in your pocket. Great, you have your measurements. Now let's take our plat and write all the measurements down. Make your measure, your uh, multiplication and your additions, total everything up. Then before you're done, you wanna back out the garage. On this home, we found 1,751 square feet, which was 54 higher than the county property appraiser website. At $180 per square foot, that increases the value over $9,000. Okay, you're doing great. You've got your measurements. Now you've got your square footage. What do you do with it now? Three things, these are the rules. Well, if you come up with less square footage than the county website has, just throw it out. If you find more square footage, you tell your realtor, you tell your appraiser, you tell everybody. Number three, don't tell the property appraiser because he's only gonna up your taxes. So what did we learn today? That if your realtor doesn't measure up, then he doesn't measure up. So hire somebody that does measure up that will increase your value and put money in your pocket. Call Brad and Angela today and we'll come and measure your house for you. No commitment. Thanks.